Okay, so we're going to take a look at how to use the mobile app for OverDrive, um, in this case on an iPad. And to illustrate how easy this is, I've got my coffee here, because I think it takes about the same amount of time to have a cup of coffee as it does to get the app going. So I'm going to click the lights off for right now so you can see what's going on. So here we've got our iPad desktop. You know, I'm going to start at Safari, just get online. I guess you have to be very sure what you're clicking. Wants to be convinced. Then go ahead and go to our website, which is mylibrary.us. That's just our main front page. So we've got that loaded up. Over here on the left, we've got a media tab. If you click that, it'll bring down a drop down. And you want to click one of these ebook links. It says ebooks fiction or ebooks nonfiction. It doesn't matter which one for right now. That's going to open up a window to OverDrive. So here on the left we've got all of our different links and towards the bottom we've got OverDrive Media Console button. Go ahead and just click that guy. And that tells us all about, oh my gosh, can you believe it? We can get this on our iPad. So we'll go down to the bottom and it says get the OverDrive app today which is what we want to do today, not tomorrow. That takes us right to the OverDrive download screen. Over here on the right, you can see it's got the different versions and it's already pre-selected because it knows we're on an iPad. And it says available on the App Store. This is actually a button, so you can just click that button. That's going to open up the App Store in just a moment. So here it is. This gives you a little preview. Up here we've got this button that says install. I'm going to go ahead and click that. Oh, I need to do my Apple ID password. Um, which I remember because I remember passwords. I'm hiding it from you guys. I apologize. Get your own Apple ID, huh? Alright, so that's downloading. You can see the icon right here. Loading. So this little progress bar will go up. So this is a good time for me to pour myself that cup of coffee that I promised myself and wait for it to load. So while you wait for that to load, I would say the pluses of using this app as opposed to syncing up with a computer are the simplicity. It's a lot more like using a Kindle. It takes you straight to where you need to be and straight to the kinds of things that are usable on your device. Um, the disadvantages are you won't have quite as much freedom of the kinds of things you can look at all the time. But for the most part you'll probably be able to read what you want. The only exception is you won't be able to read any Moby Pocket stuff. Uh, also one annoying thing, and you'll see this in a second, is when you go in, you do have to find and select which library you're from every time you use it. Which is a little bit of a hassle, but not too bad. Okay. I'm going to hit the lights again. So go ahead and click that app. And that icon takes us straight into the OverDrive Media Console. Um, and to read Adobe Books, you have to authorize this application with your Adobe ID. So if you don't have an Adobe ID, you'll have to register at adobe.com. I do have one, so I'm just going to go ahead and sign in with my email address. And password, which I'm going to have to take a guess on here. And that'll authorize for us. And you hit that authorize green bar there. It'll tell you it's authorizing. Authorization successful. So now you're in here. You've got this welcome to OverDrive Media Console. That's just a little audio piece that would play. You could use to test out if everything was working. What we really want is in this upper right corner, there's a thing that says Get Books. So click that. It takes you to this screen, and you have to add your library. So click where it says Add a Library. 
So you can do it by name, city, or postal code. My suggestion is to either use your zip code because that's the fastest, or you can browse. So you know, you start in the United States, narrow down to Colorado, and that gives you an alphabetical option. And today, we just happen to be at the Far Regional Library. Bam. But you can find any library, so if you're a user of any of our libraries, it should be listed there. And it's all under the blanket High Plains Library District. So if you can't remember any of those other things, just do the High Plains version. Okay, so this shows all the featured books that they've got right now. You've got a uh, browse and a search. We're going to just browse because I just need to find something that's actually checked in. Quick piece of advice. You can browse all these different titles, um, but generally the first few pages of whatever you might pick are checked out because they're very popular. So let's see what we've got. Um, 1,014 practice questions for the new GRE. That sounds fascinating. So I'm going to click Add to Audio Ebook Bag. This is letting me know that once you add it to your book bag, you have 60 minutes to check it out. So if you wanted to check out, you can check out 10 titles at a time, and you have 60 minutes where they'll just sort of be in that limbo of your cart before they get available for someone else. So you could continue browsing. We're going to proceed to check out. And then I need my library card number. That's going to be another top secret number. I'll give you a clue. It starts with a 2. As should yours. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're back. So, I'm going to confirm checkout. Then we're on the download screen here. It's going to tell me today's date, when it expires. I'm going to hit download. That's going to switch me back over to the media console. So we've got that first thing here, which we saw when we first opened the console. And now we've got this. We've got a download message, and you've got a little spinning wheel of progress right here. So you can see that it's working to get that downloaded. So I'm going to hit the light back on and continue my coffee procedure. So far, ebook is winning over coffee in speed. Deliciousness is another situation. You can also see on that Get Books button on the upper right there, there's a little red plus one. That's telling me I've got a book that I need to check out, which it's doing right now. This is a great time to, uh, you know, play your Angry Birds and that kind of thing too while you wait. The good news is you download this once, and then you never have to do it again. It's instantly ready for you to use. It's not like, um... A streaming video or something like that where you grab it and then every time you get on you have to wait for it to load again it's all ready for you when you get on there so there is this one time download of the ebook but that's it and this one's especially long but I'm guessing it's a little bit more involved than the average ebook I probably made a bad selection for a random choice all right we've got our you can see our uh, downloading signal is gone and our little circles gone so you can just click on the book right there and we should be able to just read it I would think light again so you can see well, I think I froze my iPad successfully it looks like it's loading here just wait a second here we go. That's kind of the main ebook screen there. You can see it's loading. And this again takes a little longer the first time. There you go. Then you can just page through it like a normal book here. This one's especially slow. I have to say that most are not this slow. You can see it's got the little progress symbol going. But yeah, then you can just page through the whole thing and review for your GRE or whatever you need to do. From the home screen, I'm going to hit the button on the side of the iPad that takes us back here. When you're ready to get into your books again, you hit that overdrive icon and it takes you straight there. Um, the other option, if you hit towards the bottom of your screen, it gives you these options. So you can hit this little arrow here. That takes you back out to this screen where you can get more books 
or if you have more than one book downloaded at a time, you can view all of them. And you can see it works a little bit faster the second time. Or maybe you can't. But anyway, it's been about 10 minutes, which is pretty good. I'd say that's average cup of coffee length. And that's the OverDrive mobile iPad app.